Hi Sagittarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your end of July reading. Generally my readings are love readings. We will see whatever comes up. Now, if it feels right, it's right. If it feels wrong, it's wrong. Okay? This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You guys are going through a lot of um, powerful changes. It's like a lot of growth, a lot of soul growth, a lot of realizing, you know, what your potential is and where you want to go. It's a lot of focusing on long-term goals. I feel like right now you're trying to figure out what the future looks like, you know, what do you want it to look like? So I think there's a lot of introspection going on within you and trying to figure out, you know, what changes you need to make to be your true self. And that's what I feel is going on for you. Realizing what is holding you back. You guys are coming to some realization as to what has been holding you back and what needs to go. You know, so you've probably been involved in a situation that has been unrealistic and unsatisfying and you're trying to figure out what you can do to, um, what new seeds you need to plant and where. Um, yeah, there's been a lot of discontent. There's been some um, incompatibility with some sort of partnership, whether this is a work partnership or a relationship partnership. There's been a, a feeling of... Um, disconnection you know it's like things have been less than harmonious and I think that you guys are about ready to turn your back on something it's like you know I'm ready for an, I'm ready for a fresh new start I'm ready for something completely different I'm ready for, for a new life so I feel like whatever you know whatever's happening right now you you've waited long enough for change and now you have to take steps to make the change happen. So I think that there is a there's a, there's some sort of partnership that is is falling apart so that you can have this new beginning that you're planting. <laughs> you're probably making some compromises. Um you may be making, uh communicating with people People that you haven't communicated before, you may be expanding overseas, you know, or internationally, you know, working, wanting to work together with people you've never worked with before. You know, I feel as though there's a, um, a new appreciation for avenues that you never even contemplated. You know, there's been a loss of self, there's been repression, there's been, um, you know, a period of silence so that you could connect with your inner knowing, you know, connect to where you need to be. So there's been a lot of, there's been confusion there's been some some fear of change. There's been it's been like a mystery to you. There's been a lot of um, maybe even escaping. You know, es trying to escape the reality that change was needed. You know, so you may have been trying to stay right where you're at even though it was unhealthy for you even though there wasn't any growth you know trying to escape the the truth but now i feel like as though though, though you guys have realized you know this isn't working for me it's not working so i'm going to have to expand i'm going to have to work together with somebody cuz i need i need their expertise i need their their teachings you know i need to go down this new route, whatever it is. Um, you're becoming more practical. You're becoming more grounded during this time. 
Um, you guys are definitely uh, learning new skills, wanting to broaden your horizons, wanting to do the right thing. You're trying to plan. You're planting a new seed. That's what's happening here. You're definitely planting new seeds, you know, that are going to lead to more abundance. And it's like you're, you're starting over. You're starting a new adventure with a plan and it's a good plan it's a good plan it's like you're not flying by the seat of your pants i think that's what's happened in the past perhaps you didn't have a solid plan and and it fell apart perhaps and now you're you're or maybe it didn't fall right apart but eventually it did you know every this is for hundreds and thousands of people i don't know but i feel it like at this time you're willing to make changes you're willing to accept other people's knowledge you're willing to you know, do whatever it takes to bring abundance into your life. You're willing to learn new things, okay? Be practical. You're willing to devote more time, devote more time to victory and success, to becoming victorious and successful. You're willing to do whatever it takes. That's what I see. You're willing to put in that extra effort and learn and really listen to other people, you know, and I think in the past you 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 were you were sticking to your um oh what's the word for traditions you know your your trick tr uh sticking to your own um beliefs and now you're starting to open up more to you know what maybe this person or maybe this way will work better for me whatever that is I don't know but let me uh zoom this in So the whole basis of this reading, what what causes this change is the high is I said what did I say high priestess earlier? If I if I didn't I was thinking of it. But anyway, we have the star. Uh, for some reason I saw the high priestess in reversed here. That's what I saw. I didn't see the star. So the high priestess is repression, loss of self. And that's what you went through. It was like a dark night of the soul, or lack of a better words, where you lose yourself to find yourself again. There's been a lack of wish fulfillment, the basis of this reading, where you're at. There could have been addictions. Again, there could have been escape. There's been a loss of faith. There's been a lot of self-doubt. And what does that do? I mean, your thoughts become things, truly. So I feel like the basis of the end of July is stepping out of that doubt, restoring faith, allowing yourself to work together, allowing somebody to help you. You know, with the justice reverse, this is unfairness. It's not wanting to be held accountable, you know, being stubborn as well. It's like things are unbalanced because you, you won't allow change. You have to be able to balance out everything, you know. You need to be able to balance out your job, your family, your home, your, your fun, the whole nine yards. And I think part of the issue is not being able to balance. When things aren't balanced, things get, get go awry. So I, and that's why you need the plan. You need the plan. You need to devote yourself. You need to be disciplined. You need to be responsible. You need to be practical. And you always need to have a plan. And I feel like this is what's happening. You guys are starting to plan. Where, as in the past, not having a plan was unrealistic. So, I don't know. Other people see that you are starting to make some compromises in your life. You're wanting to work together. You're wanting to broaden. You're wanting to um, go down new roads. Other people see that. Other people see that you may have lost some of your passion, may have lost some of your some of your drive and energy. They may have seen that you're starting to go downhill, and perhaps they want to help. You know, this is help. Okay, this is help. So somebody may be offering you some help at this time, but will you let them? You know, there's an offer of emotional support here coming in for you, Sagittarius. I think you should welcome it. You know, it's time to let go of some burdens. It's time to make a conscious change. And I think that's what's happening here. I think somebody is trying to help you or aid you, or even if it's somebody from above is trying to aid you to make some conscious changes in your life, to release burdens, to release heaviness. With this and the judgment card, both reversed, there's a heaviness 
within you that is holding you down that needs to go away. It needs to be gone. You need to release it. And it could just be a decision. It could, and it, or it could just be an old thought, an old way that's causing imbalance in your life. As you evolve, I mean, being the temperance card, as you evolve, things come and things go. So I feel like there is some sort of old baggage that needs to be thrown out and needs, and there you have a helper, somebody that wants to help to remove the toxins. To remove what no longer serves you. To restore control in your life. So I think at the end of July, there's an opportunity for you to break free of some perhaps addictions or bonds or lies or manipulation or ego self, shadow self. Breaking free. So I do feel like at the end of, of July is the beginning of a new chapter, beginning of a new you, a beginning of a new life. Free. You know, I want these to be love readings, but if love isn't in the cards, it's because you got to work on yourself. It's because you're not ready. It's because right now you have something that needs to be overcome. Okay? You need to refine that passion. You need to refine the focus and the concentration and the confidence and the self esteem and the self worth and the. You need to get creative. You need to refine that energy, that oomph that's been lost. You know, you've sacrificed yourself long enough. It's time to hold your head up high and go get whatever you want. Be the boss of your own life. Start any new seed. Start your own business. Do whatever you want. You have the skills. But this is greed. This is obsession. Resisting change. Is that where you've been? Sacrificing yourself needlessly. Sacrificing your energy. Sacrificing your creativity by not resisting change. I mean, by resisting change, by holding on to your old ways, but it hasn't served you. It's, it's caused a lot of sorrow holding on to whatever it is you've been holding on to. It's not helping your health either. Stress. Affects your heart. You know? <laughs> the Empress reversed. No growth. Whatever you've been holding on to, there's no growth. Lack of creativity. Lack of confidence. Lack of self-worth. Lack of self-love. Lack of compassion for oneself, one, for your own needs. And that hurts. So, we're talking about the future here. I feel like at the end of July, there's a, there's a, your future is about restoring control and balance in your life, freeing yourself from some sort of environment, thought, place, whatever it is. Personal freedom, making a conscious change to be successful and accepting change, doing things differently. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready for this to be myself again. Because wherever you've been at, it hasn't been happy. There has been a, holding on to whatever it is you've been holding on to hasn't made you happy. It's brought you backwards. And now you have to have no fear and charge forward. No fear. It's time for you to do what's right for you, Sagittarius. 
So I feel like at the end of this month, there is some sort of swift change that is happening with the help of another person. I think there's somebody that's probably aiding you or even if it's somebody from the other side there's a, that is allowing you to get creative to bring success to your life, to take the lead. There's an end of something, okay? This is the... There's been some incompatibility in some sort of partnership. So maybe you break up with this partnership, whatever it is. Could be a job, could be who knows. But there's been no happiness there. The world card is great because that's a major new beginning on the horizon. Where you step over the finish line, something and it's long, you have been through a phase that's been long term. There's been something that was very prominent in your life when you get the world card. So there's a prominent project or a prominent phase or a prominent chapter that is now completing, so that you can begin something new and it will lead to victory and success. You are going to be the boss. You are going to take over. You're going to get back to where you need to be. But you may need to accept help to get there. Or somebody else's expertise or ideas, whatever. This is going to be something that you are absolutely going to love. So I feel as though... There's going to be a new opportunity presented to you that is very emotionally fulfilling. After you make this conscious change to allow newness, or new seeds to grow. Now, for some of you, there could, be, there could be new love on the horizon. There could be. But there is one contract. Not one. Well, I'm, I'm saying contracts, not the lovers. It's the two of cups. One union, one partnership that is falling apart. But there's an opportunity for a new love, whether this is job, partnership, whatever, afterwards. And this could even be self-love. So, Sagittarius, I feel like at the end of July, there's a restoring control. I'm going to do whatever I have to take, even if it means that I accept help from another person to restore control, take back my life, to get myself back in order and follow a new plan. Making a plan for success. Doing things a new way. Coming up with new ideas. Perhaps with, it from, with help from another person. There could be a new love on the horizon for some of you. I have to tell you that with that Ace of Cups. There could be. But I really feel like this is self-love. I really, really, really do. There's been a lack of self-love. But I think you're about to find it. You're going to get right back to where you need to be. Whether the end of uh, July is the beginning of it. Or whatever. It's the first step. It's, it's making the conscious change to restore control in your life. Take back control. You guys are taking back control of your lives. Congratulations. No fear. There ain't no fear. You've been unhappy for too long. Back on top. Perfect. Right over here. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. I mean, what more can I say? That's what's happening. You guys are making the effort. You're, this is the, the end of this month is that you guys putting in that extra oomph, like I said, to be successful. It's like, what's the words for it? It just came to my head and it got lost. Um, above and beyond. Going above and beyond. To bring success.
Look to your inner strength. Beautiful. You are stronger than you realize. And that's what this is about. You guys are finding the strength to be successful. That's the ultimate love. So I feel like you guys are headed right back up with new ideas. But it all starts with you making conscious changes to allow other ways. Allow yourself to compromise. Allow yourself to accept other avenues. By allowing, you will grow. Talk to you later.